see now that uh, that jig is dropping down and once it's all the way down that bobber is going to stand vertical okay I've got my stop set up at seven feet okay now it's all the way down I'm gonna let us oop there was a fish right there see him grab it there he is got him another crappie a lot of times what happens is you're going to see that bobbers either going to lay flat and that's the up bite that's these crappies coming up underneath and grabbing it or a lot of times if it's a bluegill, it's like a, a gill or something, it's just going to drop straight down. Another nice crappie. Okay, buddy, nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Nice little crappie. Now you can see that jig dropping down, that bobber's kind of wobbling. Once it's all the way down to my stop, which I've got at seven feet, that bobber's going to stay on vertical. Okay. Oh, there I grabbed it right away. Oh, this could be a gill. This could be a nice gill. A lot of times when those bobbers just drop straight down like that, that's typically a uh, bluegill. Crappies, they come up underneath and they do the up bite. Right for them weeds. Let's get them out of the weeds nice and easy. What a mess. Yeah, he's in the weeds. Oh, that's a nice kill. See how they get in those weeds. Bluegills usually go right into the weeds. Not a bad little gill. I'll throw him back. Okay, this rocket bobber casts 30 to 40 yards so I can cover water. So number one, I'm using this rocket bobber as a delivery system to get my bait out there. Okay, next I'm going to use it as a jigging platform. Once that jig is all the way down, okay, that bobber is going to stand up. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up on my rod like this, which raises that jig. All right, and then once I drop my rod tip back down, that jig starts to fall again. And so I can do that all the way back to the boat. Just jig it back and forth. Now when a crappie grabs it, what's gonna happen, that's the up bite right there. See that, that was an up bite. A lot of times crappies, what they'll do is they'll, they'll come up underneath it and they'll, uh, they'll just kind of grab it like that and that bobber will lay back, back flat again. fish fry tonight so I've got to get a few fish. It's just an awesome way to catch fish. Okay, I've cast it out. Okay, that bait is dropping down right now. The jig's dropping down. Once it's all the way down, that bobber is going to stand vertical. Then I can just start jigging it back to the boat. Nice and easy. Okay, now it's all the way down. probably a gill. When you see those bobbers drop like that, typically that's a bluegill. If it goes and it starts just to lay down like that, that's the up bite. That's from a crappie, but this is a gill. I'm guessing. Probably a pretty nice one. Those gills go right through the weeds. I'll just work them way right out of there. Boys in the weeds. That's a nice gill. I'll tell you, this is just an awesome way to cover water. That's a real nice gill. There he is. Let's see if we can get a crappie. Again, I'm just gonna cast out. Okay, I'm gonna 
let that jig drop. And once it's all the way down, that bobber's gonna stand up. Whoops. See, it kinda go up and down like that. That could be a fish grabbing on the way, way down. Okay, now it's all the way down. That, that bobber's standing vertical. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up like this, which raises that jig, and then just drop my rod tip, and that'll let that jig fall again. And I can work that all the way back to the boat. Now if a crappie grabs it, a lot of times that bobber is just going to lay flat. If a gill grabs it, it's just going to drop down. Okay. So let her drop again. There he is. That's probably a gill. I'm guessing that's a gill because he dropped it like that right away. What a nice gill. Yeah, not a bad little gill. Oh, yeah, that's a dandy. Nice gill. Okay, again, I cast out. I'm using that bobber, number one, as a delivery system to get my jig out. The average casting distance is 30 to 40 yards. Next, I'm using it as a jigging platform. There he is. Another nice one. And third, as a strike indicator. Boy, they really go after this. These gills, nice gill. Get a meal today. Yeah, good looking gill.